Folks in baseball with us is uh, MLB network analyst Casey Stern. What's up, man? What's up, boys? Welcome How back to the show. How are you, pal? Good to be back. Yeah, Good been here be before. So, uh, okay, so last night, yes. the All-Star game as a whole, what's your opinion on that? You know, it's an exhibition. You know, I think it's great for the players, the camaraderie, right. you know, getting a chance to kind of hang out with each Just other, be with guys yep. who... They don't get to to play with, but play against. You think they like each you know? other on that level? Uh, you think they you know, like some do? But yeah. some do. Look, Reds, Cardinals, like in today's day and age, is Brandon Phillips going out with Yadier Molina for a beer? Right. Yeah, no. Yeah. Dodgers but and Giants aren't no, hanging Dodgers, out. No, Dodgers, right. Giants. But even like you know, Mo and and Poppy are are, are buddies. You know, right. and that's Yankees, Red Sox. So yeah, I think the camaraderie for the fans. I think it's fun to see. The, it's the fantasy game, you know? Yeah, yeah. What happens when Pedro Martinez faces Mike? You know, those kind right. of things that you look forward to. Right. Beyond that, it counting and all that nonsense. I don't care. Like, I, you know, we have to glorify it because we're, you know, we're doing shows. I'm sitting there doing pregame. Got to get pumped up. The game counts. Right. It, who, is, who the hell it is interesting, <laughs> though. It is interesting to make that game decide who gets home field. Yeah. Because in certain situations, more, more so than other years, but in, in certain years, that is everything. You know, Absolutely. I mean, there are teams that are so dominant at home uh, that that it could mean, you know, winning the World Series for them in some level. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah. really, I mean, it means a lot yeah. on some level. But you don't want to have it be for the All-Star game. Like, to me, I agree. it's just such a dumb decision. I you know, agree. They had the tie and they had the whole issue. So the best record? Yeah. Like, do oh, all the what other leagues do. I don't the care best if you do record rocks, and paper, regular scissors. Right. You know, longest straw, longest something Because I think what you're doing is when you, when you talk about the All-Star game, there's a lot of guys, obviously, from a number of teams. There's a lot of guys from teams that aren't good, that aren't invested in what you know, their team a yeah, playing later man. on in the season. They a don't care. Man, and you've got one per team. Right. So, you know, last night it worked out okay because Joe Nathan goes in the ninth inning. And right. we can get into that. Some people didn't seem to understand that. But Jim Leland actually did the right thing because you can't take a chance. Mo not coming in. So he put him in the eighth inning. Joe Nathan plays for the Rangers. Rangers might go to the World Series and could win it. Right. They were there twice, three and four years ago. So it makes sense because you have a guy who could be playing in those meaningful games. Right. And Jim Leland, the manager, could have his team there. And yep. Bruce Bochy on the other side knows it. But what if a guy in the, the Kansas City Royal? what if Jose Fernandez in the Marlins <laughs> right. is there? Right. Or what if Jason Castro, the catcher of the Astros, right. is in the ninth inning because that's the guy you have left on the bench? Who in God's creation wants to see that guy in a big spot? That Nobody. So he can't make it. Count. And I love how, I, I love like how some people try to question anything Jim Leland does baseball wise. That guy's that guy's a modern day Sparky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's getting I, up there in age. I know. Now. Well, listen, you know, I, but that still he knows what he's there. doing. I, he I love him. I like the fact that he's older. I like some of these older yeah. manager types, like a Sparky Anderson. Yeah, I sure. Liked him. Uh, now, what what's going on? Do you think with steroids? Yeah. There, there's there's going to be there's rumors there's going to be some big yeah. announcement coming down about yep. I guess punishments or whatever. Yep. Uh, in relation to this. Uh, Florida clinic thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I watched Letterman the other day, and Selig was on. He couldn't have been more cryptic. I mean, Letterman was peppering with questions, wouldn't let him off the hook, and he was just talking in different, you know, terms. Man, if you really want to give the people what they want, go on Letterman. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? No, you're right. like, it would be that's funny where he's going. Yeah. He's not going to talk to me about uh, it. Right, that's right, what I mean. Right. You're right. He's going somewhere where he can skate it. It would be right. funny if he chose there to make right. a big announcement. Let's go right. play softball in the street. Right. Like, you know, uh, so, yeah. you know uh, what do you think about that? Do you think I, it's going to happen? I think it's definitely going to happen. I, you know, they're going to be appeals. There's all legalities and all kinds of stuff that's way smarter than where I sit. There's to, no to union. Deal with. Do you no have union stronger than, than that. Than no question. Baseball. Right. It's unbelievable. Do you have an idea of specific names? Who? I mean, obviously, besides A. Rod, yeah, he, he says he's going to be joining the Yankees on Monday. I'll believe it when I see. There's it. about 20 names that were on. Here's the thing. It all stems from Tony Bosch. And here's the thing. Nobody trusts him. The guy's a scumbag. All of that is true. But it doesn't mean that Canseco, because he was a bad guy, didn't have truths to what he was right. saying. Oh, absolutely. Bad people can say things that are, are smart. Right. This guy and had true. the names on the list. Here's the bad part. It, it enabled them to start to investigate. So clearly that's not enough. Whatever they have is bad. Because let's look at the facts, right? Ryan Braun goes in there for a meeting with the league to be questioned. All of a sudden, he's on the bereavement list. No one knows if there's a death in the family or what's happened. He's mourning his own career. Right, I don't right. know what. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez goes into his meeting, goes AWOL for the right, night, doesn't show him. up at the game, they can't find him. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to tell you. Nuts. Whatever they have, whatever they sat across the table and laid out those pictures of the, of, the, of the, it was 
way beyond Tony Bosch with a few names. So I think there's definitely going to be a lot of suspensions, but I think it'll be more smoke than fire for this year. We'll hear the names. There'll be appeals, all, all sorts well, of stuff. Well, what they have yeah. is the truth, probably. They, they probably, know. they're guilty. We know yeah, that. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're guilty. right. I totally agree with you, Kinseko. Yeah. I think there was a, he was such the wrong source to right. get it from. That's right. the thing. Wrong messenger, uh, right he messenger. Was a joke, a joke, right. but, but I think right. uh, there was a ton if of If your truth. financial guy cheats on his wife every day, does it mean he can't help you with the stock market? Right. So, so I, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So Tony Bosch, I think, tell the truth I'd rather have that guy help Right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so, well, when it finally does come down, to the punishment part where something uh, has to happen. What do you think with the union and everything? Could Like, suppose A-Rod is guilty of, you know, the, the, the biggest thing we, th we suspect him of. I mean, like, you know, using all during that time in 2009 and and lying about it like what do you think is going to happen well here's the thing first of all in the agreement because one of the things i hear all the time on the radio is people say well there's no positive test so they can't do anything in the agreement which these guys signed and agreed to on like page 22 i know because we have to read it all the time there's a paragraph about all they have to do is prove possession or have enough proof of possession if these guys had it on them at any point, if wow. they purchased it and they can prove that they had it in their possession, they will get suspended. Right. It is that simple. So they don't they, even have to prove they don't that have they to, shot so themselves not, They don't have to know if they shot themselves so up like or the, any of it's that. It's not like the law, like where legally it is not to the, arrest somebody, you'd have to it's, catch them with a, you know. It's the law of the, the CBA, right, of their right, agreement. Right, right, you know, right. it's like if you sign a work agreement that says, I will not show up late to work, well, because, you show up late to work, you get in trouble. Well, right. They can't have possession of it. Well, them. because right. the thinking is, what would you be doing with it if you weren't right. using it? Right, exactly. I'm holding it for my somebody else. My mom really wants that wind straw. You know what I'm saying? So besides I think there'll be suspension. Besides like a Ryan Brown and A-Rod, mm -hmm. do you think there's a ton of other people? There's 20 names that I know of that everybody, they've been out there from the Who from are some the of the people who refresh our memory? Uh, you've got Everth Cabrera, who's an all-star shortstop for the Padres. Gio Gonzalez was on the list. Then there was a question of whether or not it was actually for his father who was part of the clinic or him. But he's a 20-game winner from last year with the Washington Nationals. Nelson Cruz, an all-star for the Rangers. Right. And Rangers are a big team. This is their number five hitter down. in their lineup. Yeah, so there are a lot of guys... You know, how much are they going to get? It all gets appealed down. You know this. I right. mean, NBA, whatever league you right. play in, guy gets suspended the three union, games. Right. They go in a room, all of a sudden it becomes two. But if they start with 150, right. then mm. you're getting down to 100. You know? Right. So, so mm. I, well, I think it's going to be, a, you know, listen, I think it's going to be, a, a, you know, almost like the strike years. They're going to have to, and, and the Black Sox scandal and stuff, they're going to have to come back from this again. Uh, something, baseball just it lo loves destroying itself. Uh, just when it gets unbelievably popular, it, something happens to tear it down again. I mean, how long is a Yankee fan and the Yankee organization going to tolerate A-Rod? And, and his antics. I mean, you know, he wants to come back probably because for selfish reasons, I think. How much longer does he have with the Yankees? Well, two things. First of all, they can't keep him from coming back. That's the problem. Right. So if he's, they delayed, you know, I had spoken to some folks in, in A-Rod's camp and they had talked about the fact that, you know, they had doctors who had seen him. Remember he had the tweet he got in trouble for? Yeah. Right. Where it, it said the doctor had seen him. That all happened. His own doctor, who, by the way, it's not like he went out to some freak show on the corner. Right. The Yankees approved the doctor. I mean, players have their own sure. private guy. Right. His doctor said he's cleared, and they're waiting 48, 72 hours, and no one's going down to even see him because the Yankees are trying to stall, right. do whatever they can. They're but not in a hurry to have him back. Right. If the guy's ready, he's ready. So he's going to play. You know, as far as baseball doing this to itself, here's the problem they got into. They want A-Rod so bad, and Braun screwed them. And we talked about this last time. I mean, when Ryan Braun gets into a situation where he gets scot-free right. and it makes the league look dumb yeah. because the loophole. I mean, what do you mean? You couldn't handle the samples? It I mean, what the hell look, are that you? That looked so stupid. They yeah. can't allow that. So now it's like a pride thing. Right. So they don't care about what it looks like for baseball or what it, all the things you said are true. They want Ryan Braun up against the cross, and they're gonna, which uh, you know, Jews for Jesus. They're right. going to make sure that they get that done. So, well, I think yeah. listen, if A Rod comes back to the Yankees and forces himself back in, he better start hitting the ball all over the place. Can you imagine the uh, response the crowd's going to uh, give him? Uh, forget about it. Forget about it. He's not going to. He's know. a cheat. He's unproductive. He's unreliable. He's hurt all the time. And he's the annoying press. too. Yeah, isn't no, he, he is. Of course, Ryan, isn't he just annoying? He's just a jerk. Oh. But what if he hits? You're yeah, as big a Yankee guy and A-Rod hater a as there are. Who wins? I'll Babe tolerate him. I'll tolerate him. Right? I still won't like him, but I'll right? tolerate him. It was kind of like when Clemens came here and pitched for us. I didn't like having him, but he helped us win. If you had a teammate, right, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're giving you 18 and 10 a game. Right. And behind the scenes, they're the biggest 
you know, piece of garbage you've ever seen. I'd Do you play care? With, no, still play with him. Right? Still no, play well, with I mean, Reggie Jackson was a perfect example. I played Ruth, you know, just going out and getting you know? drunk. He hit three home runs the next day. Who cares? You know, Thurman Munson hated Reggie Jackson, but right. you watch uh, after Reggie hits that third home run, the, the third all over the first guy. Yeah. Hit, right. What are you going to do? Some guys, so he'd have to play on that level because forget the fans, the press here. The, the back page of the Post and the Daily News would just crucify him every day, you know? Yeah, and that's the, that's the sad part. I was talking about this this afternoon on our show is now you're in the countdown. If you, you're you covering this sport because in a matter of days, it's all over for this year. Because, look, we're going to have great pennant races and all this other stuff. Who's going to care? Right. Every question that's going to be asked to players is going to be about guys they know who did it, right. who's guilty, who's cheating. The worst in this is Chris Davis. Right. This guy's got 37 home runs, and no <laughs> one has any reason to believe he's guilty. He had a ton of power in the minor leagues, just couldn't make enough contact. Yeah. And this guy's having to deal with questions. He's in a media day for the All-Star game, and you've got people asking him questions about whether or not he's been tested wow. and what his take is on everything. It, that's the sad part is for yeah. guys like that, because this is his moment. Right. You know, go make your money. And you know, this diminished. is my time, yeah. and it's being diminished. Anybody yeah. uh, anybody who does something extraordinarily good is, is underneath, the, well, yeah. underneath the, the, right. the microscope. But it sucks. Here's the question. When you talk about the union, yeah. guys get suspended, and we talked about appeals. What is the argument for the union to defend these guys? That they have no proof. That their proof is circumstantial. All the same things you would see in a court case. Right. That how are you going to prove that I had it? Now, in the past, we've heard that it's they have names on a list. And just because, you know, three guys say I purchased it, they don't have video of me with a bag that says HGH. And here I go <laughs> right. back to, you know what I'm saying? It's right. not like pot. They found it in their car. Right. Right. So I think to me, I think you fight the fact. Now. Ryan Braun, we all think he's guilty, either that or he's Daniel Day Lewis, right? Because of the way he acted. <laughs> right. But they couldn't get him. So right. maybe they maybe they get these guys off again. That was so uh, the Ryan Braun thing was so it was funny. If you put that in a movie, you wouldn't believe it. But how good of an actor? Uh, I mean I how know. good of an look, actor is this look, guy? A guy wants what he wants, man. Right? When, when a man wants something and is power hungry and uh, you know, money hungry. Who knows what motivates you? You'll do a lot of crazy stuff. Right. We got to take a break. Uh, we'll be back uh, with the rest of the hour and Casey Stern right after this.